Welcome everyone. I am Jenny on the block for our very first Partizia blockchain blockcast. And don't be fooled by the rock stars that I have got. We have got some great information to share with you today about Deep Dev Dive. And let's get started right now to share this information with you. 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 All right, first of all, let's introduce the team. Hi guys, my name is Alex. I'm founder of Godbeat, huge market making company. And a small fun fact about me, when I was 21 years old, uh, we have more than 100 employees in our company. Wow, that's wow. great. Thank that's great. Amazing. Thank you guys. My name is Massimo Moretti. I'm the founder and CEO of Signum Group, which is the first Web3 powerhouse accelerator and venture studio. And uh, the fun fact about me, uh, I was the youngest candidate uh, on The Apprentice uh, TV show in France. Wow. wow. And Massimo, wow. as a startup founder, he can no longer be fired. <laughs> yeah. We never know. We never know. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, Logan. Hi, I'm Logan Wrangley. I'm the uh, director of operations for Partizia Blockchain. Uh, I guess a fun fact for everybody, I was a professional fencing athlete. I was going to go to the Olympics back 2010. I got hurt. I started coding Bitcoin, um, but I actually started the uh, Olympic team in uh, the Caribbean. Wow. That's great. That's great. So again, mm. cool. And Brian, last but not least. Yeah, my name is Brian Gallagher. I'm one of the co-founders of Partija Blockchain. I've been involved in the space since about 2013. Um, and most recently, as of yesterday, I got granted my third blockchain patent from the U.S. Patent Office. Oh, wow, wow. Brian, well done, Brian is the new Benjamin Franklin of blockchain. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Brian, why don't you give us a quick overview sure. about the dev program? Yeah, so the reason that we're announcing it now and starting to give more information to the general community is because we are a um, really advanced blockchain protocol. So although our token hasn't launched yet on the exchange, uh, the technology is complete. So we have um, fully complete sharding, for example. So transactions can finalize much faster, much more efficiently. So you can scale applications much better than what has existed today on the market. Uh, our smart contracts are uh, have full privacy preserving capabilities using MPC technology, multi-party computation. We had a board meeting two days ago and I, yeah, I didn't even know this, but I found out that we have fully homomorphic encryption smart contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is something that the really technical uh, people, even like Vitalik, talk about these different types of advanced cryptography and how they want to bring it to Ethereum. We already have that on our chain. And so we've been building this since 2018 from an actual uh, production standpoint. But the team of Partijo has been around for a few decades, like Ivan Domgard, Jesper Boos Nielsen. So we're going to talk about how they're going to be there at the hackathon in December right here in Paris. And they're going to actually be the judges. So the teams that come participate, the different developers who are going to uh, participate in this new program, they're going to get to actually meet these guys in real life. They're sort of the pioneers of advanced cryptography solutions. OK, so today <laughs> what we wanted to share with you is we are going to do a live FAQ about Partizia Blockchain's brand new dev program. Let's get started. Logan, when does this dev program actually kick off? So we are going to be announcing everything in uh, Singapore token 2049 in just uh, about 10 days. Awesome. So 29th. That's great. And um, what type of project uh, are you looking for, basically? We're really looking for individual developers, uh, companies, teams that want to come together and build applications, uh, use our smart contracting language to uh, take their innovations, their ideas, and make them interoperable with other chains, more private, more secure. Excellent. So Brian, Brian sorry, tell me how much money is on the table? Uh, so we're giving out $1.35 million worth of grants from now until our hackathon, which will be right here in Paris, the first weekend of December. Is that hackathon going to be an in-person event, or can people, can developers actually participate if they can't get to Paris? Yeah, so what's really cool about this hackathon is it's a bit different than your traditional hackathon. It's not about showing up and coding something from scratch in person. The developer program starts today, and we're going to give grants to the best projects in person, in Paris, but you don't have to be in person. So anyone's eligible for this grant, the best projects are going to receive them. We want them to hopefully come in person and meet Ivan Domgard, Jesper Boos, and some of the rest of the team, but it's not a requirement. Excellent. And who can apply? So uh, do you, I mean, all developers from around the world? So do they Absolutely. need to have like specific uh, yeah. uh, requirements or uh, skills? Uh, sure. So we're kind of targeting 
three specific use cases. It doesn't have to be, but we encourage DeFi projects like trade finance applications, you know, bringing new use cases to DeFi. Um, wallet integration, so if you're a large wallet with lots of users, we want to see you at our, our chain. And data economy, so if you're building privacy preserving search engines, Web3 social networks, things where the user can own their data and sort of permission their data, you know, very Web3, the future as we see it, um, replacing the Googles and the YouTubes, the sensors of the internet. That's very uh, ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, look, you know, it has to start somewhere, and yeah. all the biggest projects, typically, Google, YouTube, you know, they started in a dorm room or a garage somewhere. So mm. everyone's Facebook. welcome. Everyone's welcome to apply. You don't have to be a big company. You don't need to have a lot of teammates. You can be one person with an idea. Please join. That's amazing. So let's say if tomorrow uh, someone in Africa is applying to uh, yeah. participate to this hackathon, so yeah. potentially Partizia Blockchain could uh, hire them? Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah, Agnes, you know, Excellent. some of our teammates have actually already been from people who were in the community first, and they showed a lot of initiative and in building on our project without any, you know, being a part of the official team, but they came to the community, our Discord, our Telegram, they got involved, and now they're actually working for the foundation or some of the... Uh, related entities that work with the foundation. That's fantastic. I think this is the, yeah. as we're saying, uh, so the Web3 is not just a technological shift, but it's also a cultural shift. Totally. And I think uh, thanks to, to Partizia Blockchain, uh, uh, we, you're giving guys the opportunity to young people around the world to participate in this kind of competition. So that's, yeah. that's, that's huge. Congrats. Yeah. The question? Uh, who are the judges for your competitor, competition for the hackathon and dev program? Yeah. Yeah, and the world gets smaller by the day, right? With Absolutely. all the internet and with these open source protocols, anyone, you can be in Africa, Asia, the US, it doesn't matter. You can build on top of the protocol. You can come meet the judges and the teammates from Partesia. And who are they? So Ivan Domgard, he's one of the most renowned cryptographers. Uh, you can search his name. Over a thousand research papers have been published between him and some of our other teammates, Jesper Boost Nielsen, Claudio Orlandi, Peter Franz Franzen, Kurt Nielsen. These are my co-founders. Co Uh, we've been working on this for many years. Everyone's going to be there in person. We're going to give free consulting as part of the grants to the various projects and how they can best implement their protocols and privacy preserving use cases. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're all going to be there. These are the team. And beyond them, there's going to be some of the developers from the Partesia team, uh, from the applications and infrastructure side. And, you know, Logan's going to be there. He's our director of operations. He's one of the first people you'll usually communicate with if you're a developer who accesses uh, the team, you know, he's a good point of contact. I'm very humbled by that, absolutely. <laughs> It's actually brought me onto the team was uh, a lot of the uh, people who were already here, uh, the cryptographers, obviously we're moving in this direction that uh, people that need to be on the leadership have to have uh, their degrees and education in PhDs. There's too much at stake when it comes to people's funds and their mm -hmm. data to be uh, kind of not having leadership be as educated as possible. It's what brought me to the team. It's what's bringing other people to the team. We're onboarding global hackathon winners, like Brian said, um, to either the application side or the foundation side, uh, and our team keeps growing. So it's very, very exciting. Logan, why don't you tell us a bit more about what programming language skills uh, these developers need to have to be successful working on the Partizia blockchain? Yeah, so if you're a smart contract developer uh, like myself, uh, maybe you started with Solidity, uh, maybe you've gone to Rust. Rust is how you would deploy um, onto our Wasm-based chain. Maybe you're a front-end developer as part of a team. Um, you can you kind of mix and match either React or React Native, depending on where you want to go. Uh, but if you have um, the inkling as a developer to learn more, we have documentation um, that goes through kind of the how and why you would want to use this uh, readily available online. Great. Massimo. Any question for yeah. friends, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I am a developer, blockchain developer, so Logan, where can I find more information about this uh, hackathon and developer program? Yeah, so uh, great question. Uh, Partesiablockchain.com, all of our wealth of information, our knowledge base as well. Uh, we'll have a uh, deep link right there on the homepage, and our documentation is going to be available on GitLab. Uh, if you go to our social, our Twitter, follow us, you can get to all of these links very quickly. Uh, where the conversation happens is Discord. So we have created channels that will be directly um, uh, pertaining to this dev program and giving all of the aid that you will need to succeed in this uh, event. Yeah, exactly. So if you're listening, 
At Partesia MPC is our Twitter. Our link tree is there, every link. So either go to our homepage, ParteziaBlockchain.com, go to the Twitter, at Partesia MPC, and all the links are in the link tree. Alex, what do you think about all this? So I have a question. Yep. Uh, what do you think, uh, what is your main competitor right now? So it's Avalanche with a subnet solution, or it's Aptos, what's coming? What's the main competitor for such trade uh, business in crypto and Web3? Right. So we don't worry too much about what other people are building. In fact, blockchain is very collaborative. So we actually take the approach that we're willing to collaborate with other layer ones. Mm -hmm. So we've done this so far. Yeah. And so maybe you want to talk about the way we do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. We've been uh, kind of meeting all of our colleagues all over the world to uh, introduce them to what Partesia blockchain can do and uh, bridge them into our blockchain from theirs. So we work with their developers uh, that are either remote worldwide or in person to maximize the effort of what they can do for the code base into our either public or private repositories. Yep. So there will be like a big public breach from all AVM chains, from Solana, from near to... And we have some already. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. well said. Yeah, well said. That's exactly how it works. And uh, so, for example, we just did a partnership with Polygon. Mm -hmm. And so we're bridging our private smart contract capabilities to the other layer ones. Uh, good question. And basically, the answer is we're actually making the technology available to all the chains. All right. And I have another question, guys. How hard it is for developers to move their project from Ethereum, from Binance Smart Chain, from Polygon to your blockchain? Yeah. So if they want to move, they can use Solidity on your blockchain, or you have different uh, solutions like Rust or any other language for the development? Yeah, so you're saying if they want to truly move yeah, their entire example. dApp over and be native, yeah, they can absolutely do that. And how would a developer be able to get in touch with Partesia and start working on our blockchain? Simple question. Yeah, uh, so join the Discord. Um, you'll find those links either on any of our social media or our websites. Uh, there are different channels to uh, talk to pretty much everybody on the team. Um, ask your questions. You can maybe raise a ticket and tell us uh, what your idea will be and uh, get started. Is there like a, a very picky selection? So how it worked basically for, uh, for having the chance to participate to, the, to this uh, uh, action? This program is geared towards individual developers or teams wanting to build applications. So that's the focus of the hackathon, which is going to happen in the first week in December here in Paris. The grants are going towards teams or individuals deploying smart contracts, dApps, on our chain natively. So layer one integrations is actually separate from the dev program. Mm -hmm. There's a different side of the business development team that works on that. And these other organizations don't need grants. You know, we're talking about we're going to do a ripple bridge. They don't need a grant. So, um, so maybe you can give us an overview about Singapore 2049. Yeah. So we will announce two projects, big flagships that we're working with, uh, that can Shh, get people pretty, pretty, pretty excited about what's coming on the chain. Mm -hmm. um, but the grants themselves. Uh, basically, we're having a hackathon in the first weekend of December, mm -hmm. but you don't, it's not the type of hackathon traditionally where you show up and you code from scratch. What we're announcing is that anyone who starts building now can come to the event and potentially receive the grant for their project. So they can start building now. We want to see progress. We want to see use cases inside of DeFi, the data economy, wallet integrations, and uh, we're going to give away about $1.35 million worth of grants from now until December. Uh, that's a combination of cash, tokens, consulting from the actual Partesia team. It's also going to be a fun event. So that's going to be in Paris, first weekend of December. And that's when we're going to announce the winners and begin to deliver the grants. Thank you so much, everyone. So can we um, validate that we have reached consensus to finalize our very first Partesia broadcast? Let's do it. Confirmed. 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 Awesome. Thanks, everyone.